so a week ago, my wife sent me to Halifax to go look for some hair. Mamba twists, number two, something like that. Anyway, it was about a 20 minute drive from the house and it cost me about $105. She got her hair done yesterday. And here she is today, taking them out. I didn't sleep last night. Sleep is important for these babies. This is the stuff we men go through. $105, there it go. There. Five, 10, 15. <laughs> Let me take a minute to show you who I am beyond this mic. Cause there are many things you may not see beyond the hype. You're probably used to the one who gets down. Hands up when your boy's in town. Yeah. Time I come around, guarantee somebody gonna scream. Oh, so <laughs> but I keep it on a DL, cause it ain't about What's going on, peoples? So, since the gender reveal, my wife and I have started to tear down and get ready to move out this piece. On the same day as the gender reveal, the doctor asked Larissa to stay on bed rest for at least a week, you know, just to get off of her feet and try to get some aches and pains off of her because carrying these triplets ain't easy. So, I'm here cleaning up and breaking down and doing everything I gotta do. So, we've been moving all morning. We nearly hired a moving company. I figured that might be the easiest option because my wife's on bed rest until they tried to charge us $200. I'm good. Let me just call a couple of my peoples and so said, so done. All type of space. <laughs> Today, this little guy is getting his first haircut. Yo, get off the modem, boss. I just realized what you're doing. Get off the modem. Drop that thing off your mouth, bro. No fear, boy. No fear see yourself with me, you know. I won't even lie. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> you never know how these kids are going to react when they get in the barber chair. Some might flip out. Some might be completely okay. So I don't know what to expect out of this guy. I'm just hoping for the best. Wolf J. Yo, I seen her in the party. I seen her, I seen her. As I'm dressing her by day, I need to be near her. The physical attraction's not a <laughs> Wow, you look handsome. <laughs> this the boy? He was. I told you. Yeah, he didn't flinch in the chair. Yeah, they were like, they were like amazed because they didn't believe me when I said it was his first cut. Handsome. So today is going to be a busy one. I'm on my way to a tree lighting event in Dartmouth where we will be singing outdoor for about an hour with Asian Nubu. Then I'm leaving the tree lighting to go to my diaper party, which is happening up at church. And then after the diaper party, I have my second Nubu gig <laughs> downtown at the World Trade Center. Sometimes you got to take one for the team. I have to switch the hat up right quick. Jingle bells, homie. I'm embarrassed. I got off stage late, so I'm like 30 minutes late for my own diaper party. I uh, hope these guys forgive me. But whatever, it's my diaper party, yo. They better forgive me. Annie up on the gifts. overwhelming a lot of diapers a lot of baby wipes a lot of gift cards hundreds of dollars worth of gift cards like if I didn't know I was loved I definitely know it now thank all y'all man that's overwhelming downtown Halifax right now I'm headed to the third engagement for tonight World Trade Center day in the life got to be out here getting that money got triplets on the way man I can't play no games with y'all 
So tomorrow morning, I'm performing live on CBC Radio in Halifax. So right now, I'm on my way to sound check. They do that the day before, so I can come in bright and early tomorrow morning, ready to sing. 6 a.m. Sheesh. You'll still be in bed. sound check I've done because of this guy touching everything every piano every microphone every ladder every construction device this guy I bring you to no more sound checks <laughs> it's 5 15 in the morning and I'm walking towards the CBC studio my morning voice on fleek falsetto on flunk <laughs> Supposed to be here for 5:30, but I decided to get here early. Better safe than sorry. You know how that go. Let's do this. Just getting ready for our uh, Halifax's uh, Feed Nova Scotia Day show live out of Studio 60 Morning Hall. Very Doing it slowly on the Bedford Bypass, going down the Magazine Hill into Burnside. Traffic actually backing up into Lower Sackville, uh, nearly to Lucasville area. So please use extra caution up there. Your love abounds. Your mercy. See last my savior I will love you forever You are Emmanuel Sing Emmanuel Yeah Emmanuel Finished. It went really well. The crowd was really receptive. Yeah, it went well. Okay, I want to say, Mass Choir made me cry. Uh oh. <laughs> best, the best thing we could have ever had. Oh on the my show. goodness. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so good. Love it. Oh, I love it. Thank you. So it's a snow day today. Can't go oh, nowhere. Open that door. <laughs> we oh, just open were outside door. shoveling. So now I'm just finding random stuff to do around the house. What do you want to say? Daddy. Listen, listen, you're four years old. You're four years old. Stop, stop talking syllables. You're a four-year-old boy. Open that door. Talk some sense. triple the work. I gotta assemble not one, not two, three bassinets. <laughs> Fam, if this was me back in the day, all of these gifts would have been opened. Yo, I gotta teach you how to rip gifts, B. Hey, this man is being so elegant. This guy got his one gift and ain't even trying to rip anything else. Yo, at least I know that these kids are easy to please. Because three more of y'all are coming, so I don't even know high maintenance boy them. Understand why I go out. Let me show you what we find. Uh, yeah. I make the time stop.
So it is December 27th, 2016. I have been here at the hospital, the IWK Children's Hospital with my wife since this afternoon. She woke up feeling some cramping, so we just came to see, make sure everything was good. But now it looks like minor cramping turns into babies on the way. <laughs> have you ever had a dream with your eyes wide open? Have you ever sang with your mouth closed? Yeah, that's how I'm feeling at the moment. I know my pockets ain't swollen, and the whip that I roll in got a ticket last evening. They cut back shifts in my workplace. Phone bills coming in next Thursday, and I gotta get the money by the Wednesday. But my rent's due this Tuesday. Gentlemen, it is past two o'clock in the morning and my superwoman wife has delivered three beautiful babies. <laughs> She's recovering. Check out my bling. Ah, you see, <laughs> you see when you're in the hospital, you gotta have a bracelet per child when they're in the NICU unit. So <laughs> she got all type of bracelets. And they're so adorable. They are, they really are. They're so small too, right? Cause they're a little early. It was about how many weeks, 30? Yep, 30 weeks, right? So they're small, but they're so cute. Guys, we got, we got five kids. Life just got so real. <laughs> Cause I got that peace, peace, peace that passes understanding peace. I got that peace, and only God can give you that peace, peace, peace that passes understanding.